Green Family Garden, part two, Mango Farm. Here we are at a Kent mango tree, and I am gonna pick a few mangoes for my lovely wife. Look at this, guys. Isn't she a beauty? Remember, guys, if you're ever down here in Davie, Florida, best mango farm it is. Very nice, polite, knowledgeable people. How does this one? Oh, that one's not no good. One's that one? Right here? <laughs> now, honey, you're pointing. I don't have giraffe arms. I can't go that high. The one to the left. The one to the left, right here? Yeah. This pretty mango. Oh, that's a tiny no. one, no. All right, guys, we're going to walk again back over here and give you guys a different view of the tree. This guy's is breathtaking, heaven on earth. This is my dream. Next video, I'm gonna show you guys my mango tree. Doesn't look like this, but I got one, all right? All right, honey, come on, let's walk down here. And us gonna get some more mango. Oh, do you now? Okay, guys, she's bringing me a stick. All right. Okay, guys, I have a stick now. I'm really going to do some mango picking now. All right, honey. Now, guys, work with me. This is the first time I've ever used a... The picker? A picker. So I'm going to get the picker. All right, honey, find which one you want, and I'll go get it. Get one that's getting more sunlight. Guys, if you see here, it's a lot of new growth coming back on her trees. That's a good thing for her next year. How was the weather down here this year, man, with the cold? Did it hurt you guys any? We have had a better mango season this year than last year. Really? Last year was terrible. And this year, for some reason, we have a lot of mangoes. Oh, okay. So what was the lowest temp that you guys got down here this year? Oh, I'm going to tell you probably in the 50s. Oh, okay. Not too, too bad. Not, Not too, 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 bad. too long. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's good. Right. Honey, I guess we'll get, get these. Mm-hmm. Put the teeth over them and then pull them. All right. I guess I'm going to get the teeth over them and I'm going to pull it down. See what I get. What's your head? Out of three mangoes, guys, I got one. And the smallest one. I guess I'll try again. And remember guys, when you guys go mango picking, do not let the, the juices get on your clothing. They stain forever. And the mangoes are in the poison ivy family. And they're in the poison ivy, fa poison ivy family, pardon me. So I shouldn't eat this, right? No, you can eat them, you just need to wash them. It's the sap, and especially when you're handling mangoes, uh, if you get the sap on your hands and then you touch your face, you may end up with a rash on your face, especially if you have sensitive skin. It's not as potent, as poison ivy, but mm -hmm. it will start to itch. Oh, okay. So I couldn't just bite into this and go yes, to town. Yes, you could. I would just wipe it off. Oh, okay. No, I'm not going to now. But oh, you're not going to? Okay. Else. So guys, you go, you come down here, wipe your mangoes off before you eat them. Now me, normally, I would have just bitten into the thing. But all right. 
May God bless you guys. We're going to call this a day. May God bless Supreme Family Gardening. We love you guys.